When you're starting to grow your Etsy shop, it's important not to be spreading yourself too thin, trying to build on too many platforms all at once. But at the same time, it's also important not to have all your eggs in the same basket in case the worst happens and for whatever reason you can't access your shop anymore or the best happens and you're doing so well you want to take yourself off of the Etsy platform. So because of this, it's a good idea to build up an alternative way to communicate with your customers. And one really good alternative can be a mailing list. So today I'm going to take you step by step over setting up that initial mailing list to gather your customers all in the one place. And once we've built and populated this list, in a future video, we're going to talk about how to build mailing campaigns to keep your list engaged. So I'm going to be setting up using MailChimp. It's free to set up, so go ahead and create yourself an account and it's going to remain free until you've got over 2000 subscribers on your lists. And that's quite a lot. So this is a good place to get started. So set up your account and ignore all the pop-ups trying to help you off to different places. We're just wanting to set up a basic list just now. So once you've filled in your details, we're going to pop right over to the lists tab from your dashboard and then click create list and create list again. In your list details, fill in a name for your list, something that's going to make sense and that you're going to remember. So in this example, I'm filling in a list for my Etsy SEO people, people like you who are wanting to keep in touch with the latest Etsy SEO things, but have something that makes sense for your shop. And then go ahead and fill in the email that you want your emails to come from and the name that you want people to see associated with your email when it pops up in their inbox and add a little spiel to remind people of why they've signed up for this email list because if you're like me you're going to have quite a lot of emails come in every day and sometimes you're like where on earth did they find me from for this list if it tells you that this is something that you chose that you signed up for because you follow the person on the Etsy shop or you follow them on YouTube or whatever else then that's going to remind them that's going to make sense The GDPR fields are for the EU if you want to check these just to make sure that you're keeping everything right with your European customers. And choose to click the boxes for whatever notifications you want to receive by email about your list. Personally, I'm going with none. I'll just come in and check on MailChimp itself. But if you're wanting a reminder, then just pick whatever settings you want for them to email you. And that's the start of your list created, but we want to create some sign up forms so that people can find us and sign up to the list. So click create a sign up form and form builder from the list. You can edit the form to encourage people why they want to sign up. Incentives like money off coupons, free digital downloads, or advance warnings of new, exciting, exclusive ranges about to come out in your shop. And also give them an idea of the amount of emails they're likely to be getting. Just to say a monthly digest or a weekly digest is probably going to be more appealing than... I'm going to spam you 72 times today with emails. You can remove any details that you don't want to collect, such as addresses, by clicking on that section and clicking the little minus sign when it's highlighted and then click delete to remove the section. And on the right hand side, there's options to add more forms if you want to collect more data. For the minute in time, I'm really just going with the email address. I don't need any other data just now. And in the design tab, you could pretty this up with headers and colors and different sized font. But for just now, this is just a sign up form for a mailing list. So I'm leaving it as it is, keeping it pretty simple. In the drop down where it says sign up form, there's also lots of other options for automated type emails that you can send along with this list. For just now, I'm just wanting to add a final welcome email to add my PDF. This is where you could also add what your shop discount code is. So automatically when someone signs up to their list, as soon as that all goes through, they get an email welcoming them and giving them the discount. Again, you can pretty this up to make it look as nice as you want or just give them what you're giving them. If you want to attach a file all you need to do is highlight the text that you want them to be able to click on to get to the file 
and then click on the link button. You can link from web addresses if you've got your file hosted somewhere else or you can save it up onto MailChimp as well. So select file if you want to upload it from MailChimp and to upload new files here just click the upload button and if it's already uploaded you just want to click on the file and hit the insert button. Now if you want to start building this list you can add contacts from anyone that's given you permission or your mum if you want to test these things out. And your sign up form is the URL here. So copy this and then you can paste it wherever you want to get people to collect people from. Here's what it looks like when someone clicks. I'm signing into myself um, through a different email account. And in the final email, you're seeing a sneak peek of my free PDF. Now you can leave this link to your mailing list on blogs, on websites, or in your automated thank you mail to customers. Now you can't use the email addresses of previous customers. They have to physically decide to sign in. But this can be really powerful for customers from here on in. And also if they find you on social media, or you could put a link in your listings so that someone can choose to click on it and sign up. And people are much more likely to sign up for your mailing list if you make it enticing for them. Rather than just say, keep in contact with me, offer them something, give them the free file to download, give them discount codes, tell them that they're gonna get something that people who aren't on the list aren't going to get. And make sure and make it enticing that people are gonna to want to click. Give them something. Rather than just asking them to sign up so they can keep in touch with whatever you're doing, give them something like a free digital download, discount codes, or promises of up and coming offers that people who aren't on the list won't get. And of course, you've seen me create this Etsy SEO tips list in this video. So if this is something you're interested in, if you wanna get my free PDF of a roadmap to the steps you wanna be taking to Etsy success, and you wanna get on my mailing list and learn step-by-step step as we grow a mailing list together, then I'll leave a link to my email list in the comments of the video down below. And you can join up and see what it's all like. And once we've all built our lists a little bit, populated them with a few people, I'll have a follow-up email on how to write compelling content campaigns to get people to to actually open up your emails. It's not enough to just make this email list. You have to keep them on the list. You have to keep them wanting to open the emails that you send and not just send them to the spam folder. So I'll see you next time.